All right, welcome to today's lecture. I'm Rovik and I'll be bringing you through what uh, is called market failure in economics. Now, most of you will be wondering as you go through your economics journey, uh, some of the issues that we've dealt with in free markets actually don't apply to the real world. And that's where market failure can come in. So some of the questions that I've been asking myself, and I'm sure you've been asking yourself too, are uh, for example, how come Apple and Coca-Cola can set their prices so high and regulate the amount of goods that they produce in the economy? Shouldn't that be dealt with? by the market forces. Another question that you'd probably be asking is why do governments need to set taxes on stuff like cigarettes, right? Uh, and this isn't government intervention not necessary when there's a free market in place, right? And these are questions that we actually deal with in market failure. So let's take a step back before we actually go into the topic itself. Let's, de let's look at uh, what we're dealing with. We're dealing with the free market, right? And as you've learned, the free market deals with allocation of resources, who to produce it for, how much to produce, and all these questions. Right? And that's what we'll be really looking into. Does the free market actually do that? 